and there it is looking out of the window you can see today it is a little gloomy a little gray it isn't a very bright day however i am here to brighten your day wherever you are in the world because it is day 20 of 31 days of english in october 2019 when you're in love you know you're in love no matter what they try to do you might as well resign yourself to what you're going through if you're a hard man or if you're a child it still might get to you don't kid yourself you've seen it all before a million mouths have said that too yes the 1980s we are talking about the 1980s today and that was my rendition of a famous song from the 1980s by the human league hi everybody this is mr duncan in england how are you today are you okay i hope so are you feeling nostalgic and happy i hope so i really hope so because today we are here again yes we have made it all the way to day 20 of 31 days of october and not only that it's sunday yes it is sunday it is still the weekend how is your weekend are you having a good weekend i really hope so i'm back again and of course i am with you for the whole of october for those who are wondering what the heck is this on my computer monitor or mobile device what am i watching you are watching 31 days of live english I am with you every day to celebrate my 13th year on YouTube. Can you believe it? And I am with you every day on the screen. You can see right now all of the days and all of the times. And now they are gone because it's me again. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I hope you are great. How has your weekend been? Has it been good? Did you do anything interesting this weekend? Anything interesting? I went shopping this morning very early this morning I went shopping because the light in my bathroom has broken so I went into town this morning to get a new light bulb and here it is but the only problem is I can't get it out of the box don't you hate it when you buy something like this it is sealed inside plastic and you 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 can't get into it it is so annoying why do they do that why do they make things so difficult to open so i can see the light bulb there it is but i can't get to it it's so hard to get into this type of packaging because they they seal the whole package and you can't get into it and the worst part of it is that it's made of plastic so you can't tear it you can't break into it it is very hard to open so i really want to put my new light bulb in my bathroom so i don't fall over and hit my head on the toilet when i'm cleaning my teeth tonight however i can't because i i can't get into it how are you supposed to get into these boxes they are so annoying so that's what I'm doing today I will be moaning about things sometimes in fact come to think of it I always moan about things what am I talking about I'm always moaning however there is some good news because whilst out shopping this morning I found something that I've been looking for for a very long time I found some toothpicks do you know when I'm out eating 
quite often nowadays when I'm eating meat I will often find that the meat will stick in my teeth so quite often I like to have a toothpick however these days toothpicks are very hard to find I don't know why I think it has become sociably unacceptable unacceptable so nowadays it is sociably unacceptable to pick your teeth however many years ago especially during the 1980s you could use a toothpick and no one cared so I was very pleased this morning that I could find this packet of toothpicks so next weekend when I'm sitting in the local tea room after having my lovely Saturday lunch I can pick all the meat out of my teeth and the problem is of course when you get older your teeth start to come apart they, they are not close together so quite often you will get large gaps between your teeth as you get older so maybe that's the reason why I get lots of meat between my teeth however I have my toothpicks so I am prepared now for next weekend I will be offending everyone in the local tea room here in much Wenlock because I will be picking my teeth there's nothing worse than getting meat in between your teeth anyway on to more important things first of all we are talking about one particular subject today amongst others and I suppose I should start by saying <sighs> this subject is really becoming quite farcical if something is farcical it means it can't be taken seriously something has become a joke so something you should be taking seriously has become a joke or something you can't take seriously anymore it has become farcical so something that is farcical is something you can't take seriously it has become a joke and this particular subject is something that a lot of people are really fed up they are sick they are tired they don't want to talk about this anymore unfortunately we will have to talk about this for a few days more maybe even a few years more I'm not going to say it don't worry I won't say the word it is a little bit like that guy from Harry Potter you must not say his name and I will not say this but this is a big subject we now have to wait until Monday to find out what is going to happen whether or not we leave the European Union on the 31st of October it is looking unlikely that's all I can say about that there is nothing to say there is nothing else to say because I don't know and no one knows in fact hello to Nasir oh hello Nasir I hope you are feeling happy today because guess what you are first on today's live chat well done well done Nasir you are first on today's live chat so congratulations I hope your day will be nice and bright hello also to Abdullah also Maroots also Tiang Chris is here also Connell hello Connell I haven't seen you for a while hello David Enrico hello to you welcome to my live stream don't forget I am here every day oh and by the way you can also have live captions as well there you can see the instructions on the screen if you want captions press this on your keyboard and you will have lovely captions on the live chat and the live stream oh, amazing isn't it so 
who else is on the live chat let's have a look shall we hello to salad also alan gear also patchu pappy and also sarge lots of people here today to say hello great to see you back thank you very much today we are talking about a super subject something that means a lot to me the 1980s the 1980s we are going to have a look at the 1980s why and this is my big question today why were the 1980s so cool and they really were now i was a teenager during the 1980s i know it seems impossible but it's true i was a teenager growing up in england during the 1980s so i suppose i might remember the 1980s because that is when i was at a very impressionable age during my teenage years and of course during your teenage years lots of things are going on your body is changing and also your outlook on life might be being formed or created so things start influencing you more as you enter your teenage years to be honest with you i did not enjoy my teenage years i was a very awkward gauche teenager very uncomfortable with myself with my body i hated everything about myself i was very unconfident i didn't have confidence i was very thin very tall i didn't like any of those things so i was quite an uncomfortable quite an awkward teenager would you like to see a photograph of me <laughs> as a teenager so here i am this particular photo you are about to see was taken in 1982 there i am so that is actually me way back in 1982 you can see me in the garden and i don't look very happy and i think that's because i was awkward uncomfortable maybe also a little shy quite introverted and you can also see that i have red hair yes i dyed my hair <laughs> i was a very odd teenager and some people might say that i'm a very odd adult so yes you can see that was taken i think it was taken in 1982 you can also see i'm wearing an et t-shirt or sweatshirt <laughs> so that really does date the period of time that that picture was taken so there i am in my garden way back in 1982 and i don't look very happy so i think that photograph really does sum everything about me i look awkward slightly uncomfortable i wasn't comfortable in my own body i hated myself physically i didn't like the way i looked i didn't like my long thin body although nowadays of course if i was a teenager now i would probably be the coolest person in the street because everyone looks tall and thin especially if you want to look trendy have you noticed that a lot of people wear clothing nowadays that is very tight or revealing and some people think that if you are very thin and slim it is a good thing <laughs> of course some people will also disagree with that hello to the live chatters so many people are here today hello to neo hello also to alan gear to chris hello chris chris is going to make me feel very old chris says i was a baby in the 1980s i wasn't i was a teenage boy dealing with all of the terrible things that happen as you enter your teenage years there is an interesting show on netflix called big mouth have you seen it and that particular cartoon it is a show all about growing up and being a teenager so i do like that program because i can relate 
to some of the things that are mentioned and shown in that particular program it is available on Netflix and it's called Big Mouth and it really does remind me of my very awkward teenage years I did not enjoy being a teenager Pat Chu sir are you a shy boy <laughs> I was a shy boy I'm not sure if I'm shy anymore in the 1980s I don't know where I was <laughs> says Parineo hello Parineo apparently Parineo doesn't know where they were during the 1980s <laughs> what were you doing it sounds very interesting today in Argentina it is Mother's Day so hello to all the mothers watching in Argentina hello Vinaraj the big bad wolf or the wolf wolf came or the bad big wolf came it's normally the big bad wolf so normally the appearance comes first so we say the big bad wolf so the appearance its character and then what it is the big bad wolf I hope that helps your English grammar question hello to Lagell. hello Mr Duncan nice to see you here today Saturino says some of my ex workers say that the citizens of London want to remain in the EU but the rest of Great Britain wants to exit well that might be true so I think it would be fair to say that most people or the majority of people in London do not want to leave the European Union however in the north of England you will find that many people want to leave the European Union so you might say that there is a north south divide when it comes to this I'm not going to say it I am tired of this word I hate this word so much I don't think there is a word that I've ever hated so much as this really I think it's safe to say hello Abdul hello also to oh 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 say no I can't actually read your name properly I hope I pronounced it right I was born nine years later were you after 1982 so you were born in 1991 Pachu sir I was born in 1980 it was a great year <laughs> yes the 1980s as far as I am concerned the 1980s were the best the best art fashion music entertainment movies everything was brilliant in the 1980s I absolutely love the 1980s I really do the 1980s I love the 1980s I think it's safe to say because I grew up in that era I was a teenager during that period of time another thing worth mentioning is that I actually met Steve Mr Steve I actually met Steve in the 1980s so maybe that's another reason for being happy about the 1980s so I actually met Steve at the end of the 1980s so I started off unhappy shy and I ended the 1980s by finding someone who is really nice to to know and to be with Lucila hello Lucila thank you very much for joining me today hello to Fabio Fabio says there's no sound there is sound you can hear sound I am on now no one else is saying that there's no sound Corey says it doesn't work properly for me there is no sound well there should be sound I hope you can all hear me <laughs> or else I'm wasting my time hello to Tans Tans or Tasneem I was born in 1999 on July the 5th 
oh so you are very young much younger than me although I have a feeling that many people here are younger than me but the 1980s didn't have the internet that is true Neo it is true there was no internet in the 1980s however there were computers so you could buy a computer even though they were very basic and they didn't work very well so I actually bought a computer during the 1980s it was very basic it was made by Toshiba but it wasn't very good but the thing was you could actually write your own programs so this particular computer that I bought during the 1980s actually allowed you to do your own coding which was very unusual during that time you might even say that it was ahead of its time because no one was coding back then no one knew what coding was and some people nowadays still don't know hello Patrick again hello Zaki hello Zaki thank you very much for these videos you are welcome hello sir why did you not talk about your family well when you say family family can mean the immediate family around you or it can mean maybe the people in your family your distant relatives so my family well I have I have a family I did come from somewhere yes my mother gave birth to me many years ago I have a mummy and I have a daddy and I have two sisters there you go so now you know but I'm not married you can tell that I'm not married because I'm so happy that's why I'm always happy because I'm not married hello Chris my brother got a video game control deck in the 1980s yes there were video games in the 1980s a lot of people forget this but I remember during the 1980s there was a, a brand of video game called Atari so I remember Atari from the 1980s so yes computer games have been around for a very long time it isn't just Millennials that play computer games beep, 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 beep. it was also people from the 1980s so even we had a computer game at home it was very basic it was just two things on the screen playing football Who remembers that please do a live stream on the problems of disabled people well I think that's a good idea maybe words and expressions related to being disabled thank you very much Helena hello Helen rather hello Pedro hi Pedro nice to see you here I have been told that Luis Luis Mendez will not be here today he has something else to do but it's nice to see Pedro here thank you very much hi Mr Duncan it is the first time for me to participate in your live stream thank you for giving me this opportunity to see how it works greetings from Morocco thank you Abdu you are welcome and welcome for the first time to my live chat it's very nice to see you here on the live chat you are welcome hello to Hiba hello Mr Duncan I miss you I can't see the video because of the weakness of the internet in Iraq because of bad events that are he happening in Iraq yes sometimes the internet can be very slow so when we talk about the internet not being good we can say the internet is slow the speed is slow Palmyra I love Chris Norman very much I don't know who Chris Norman is should I know <laughs> oh dear in the 1980s there were a lot of inspired singers and very good music I agree with you Christina I love 1980s music in fact today 
at the start of today's live stream i did sing a song i will be showing you some pictures in a moment but first of all a quick word to mention in fact there are two words the words are desolate and derelict now these words can be used in the same way but also there are some big differences between these words as well so if something is derelict quite often it relates to a man-made object such as a building so if something is derelict it means it has been abandoned something has been left to become old and worn out a building is often left derelict once it has finished serving its purpose so when something has finished its usefulness it has come to the end of its usefulness when we talk about a building once it has been abandoned it is derelict and slowly over time it will start to fall down it will start to look old so we can often describe an old building that has been abandoned as derelict desolate means a wide open space that has nothing there something that is without any surroundings so a place that has no landscape a place that is empty or a place that has been isolated is desolate quite often we can use derelict and desolate as the same thing however for most of the time this word derelict and desolate are actually different so quite often these words will have different meanings but sometimes they can mean the same thing hello to Rakesh hi good morning you are looking nice today thank you very much I am wearing colorful things do you know why because today we are talking all about the 1980s I love the 1980s I really do I, I can't tell you how much I love the 1980s when we think of the 1980s we often think of very colorful things like the Rubik cube colorful clothes and great music so that's what I always think of when I think of the 1980s and of course I grew up during the 1980s my teenage years would you like to have a look at a video because we are talking about the 1980s I suppose I should also show you something special something a little different here is an excerpt from one of my lessons that I made many years ago no not during the 1980s however in the video you will see some fashion that looks as if it might be from the 1980s yes we are going to talk all about a great subject because when we think about the 1980s when we look back to the 1980s quite often we will think about fashion hi everybody this is mr duncan in england how are you today are you okay i hope so are you happy i hope so in today's lesson we will take a look at the ins and outs of a very big subject that affects many of us the world of fashion Thank <laughs> you. 
fashion relates to any item or behaviour that is considered the most popular or relevant during a certain time or with a particular group of people or something that generally appeals to the majority in each group. It can be used as a verb when creating something into a certain shape or form. It can also be used as a mass noun to describe the marketing of clothes and cosmetics. Fashion is more than a word. It shapes our everyday way of living, not to mention our behaviour too. When we look back in time, it seems as if every decade had its very own unique set of styles and trends. In the 1940s, women mostly wore long skirts and men dressed in suits and ties. During this time, there was no great following of fashion among teenagers, mainly due to a very different attitude towards the youth at that time. The rule back then was that teenagers should be seen and not heard. Although all that changed in a big way during the late 1950s with the birth of rock and roll music and the resulting fandom among the young who listened to it. The 1960s and 70s saw similar changes and as the decades passed, new trends and styles followed. These days it seems as if everything revolves around trends and fashion. Some people say that we have become too obsessed with what to wear, which mobile phone to carry, and how to look. What do you think? It would be fair to say that we all follow fashion in some way. These days, it seems more important than ever to be in touch with what is popular and in vogue. Although, if a person becomes too obsessed with fashionable items and their appearance, then we may begin to dislike them and describe them as vain, shallow, self-centered, a victim of fashion. I hope you enjoyed that one of my old lessons talking all about fashion welcome to Sunday yes it is 31 days of English during October 2019 every day I am with you every day during October. I know it seems unbelievable. I know you can't believe it. I know it seems like an impossible feat. And yet here I am. So we are talking about one of my all time favorite subjects, the 1980s. Now, I remember growing up during the 1980s. When we think about the 1980s, often we will think about music and celebrities. There you can see now on the screen quite a few celebrities who were very big during the 1980s, including Michael Jackson, also Madonna. I was a big fan of Madonna. I remember Madonna's first ever song, Like a Virgin, touched for the very first time. Also, Jane Fonda. Well, I suppose Jane Fonda was popular during the 1980s because she was very much into exercise. In fact, Jane Fonda during the 1980s released a lot of videos teaching people how to work out and do exercise in their houses. Also, David Bowie was very popular, not only during the 70s, but also the 1980s as well. And there we have Boy George. When you think about the 1980s, you will often think about men wearing makeup. And I suppose the style was very androgynous, especially during the early 1980s. I know because I grew up during that period. 
and of course we have cindy lauper i think cindy lauper is an amazing singer i love her very much i think she's amazing and of course on the right you can see lady die lady diana so a lot of people remember lady diana or princess diana from the 1980s because we all remember that famous wedding when she got married to prince charles we all remember the royal wedding between princess diana and prince charles hmm what a fairy tale marriage that was oh oh dear hmm yeah. oh the live chat is very busy today hello live chatters christina oh mr duncan you are beautiful with your long hair <laughs> yes boy george was very popular would you like to see me dressed as my favorite pop star so this is something that might shock one or two people because during the 1980s as i mentioned i love the music and here is a magazine that I used to view all the time. I used to read this magazine all the time. In fact, in my house, somewhere in a box, all of these magazines still exist somewhere. I think they are now in the attic. So you can see on the left, there is someone called Adam Ant. And I was a huge fan of Adam Ant. And on the right, you can see the Pet Shop Boys. So these particular people had a big influence on me during the 1980s. So I remember the, the Pet Shop Boys. I remember their first ever song, West End Girls. And I really did like their music so much. In fact, I still do. And on the left, you can see Adam Ant. Would you like to see a photograph of me dressed as Adam Ant? prepare yourself for a big shock there I am so that is actually me in I think this was about 1982 so there I am in 1982 dressed as Adam Ant this actually might I think this might be 83 or 84 so I have a feeling this might be 1983 or 84 but it was the early 1980s and there you can see me dressed as my favorite star and you can see him there on the left adam ant he used to sing with a group called adam and the ants and once again there i am dressed as my favorite pop star so this used to happen a lot during the 1980s a lot of fans would dress as their favorite pop star i hope that wasn't too shocking hello to the live chat were you shocked have you been surprised by my appearance all those years ago yes now at the start of today's lesson i said that i was a very shy person however i did have certain outlets certain ways of expressing myself and one of them was dressing up as my favorite pop star and i think this still happens nowadays however you will notice that nowadays there is no real fashion there is no real individual fashion anymore so most of the fashion that exists nowadays looks relatively similar t-shirts jeans that's pretty much it but way back in the 1980s fashion was everything bright colors big clothing quite often on the shoulders so the shoulders normally were extra large they used to have padding inside the shoulders to make everything look larger so during the 1980s it was all about the hair the fashion the way you looked and sometimes the more bizarre you looked the better things were so quite often men would wear makeup men would dress very flamboyantly <laughs> a little bit like this maybe 
Mm, okay then. That's the last time I'm showing that picture ever in the world. So yes, I think so. I think <laughs> I think the 1980s was an amazing time for everyone, especially from a creative point of view. So I kind of wish I was now like this in the 1980s or maybe I wish that I was like I was in the 1980s now. So I have two ways of looking at that. So if I was a teenager now, I would probably be quite trendy. I would be very trendy and cool because I could wear all of the clothing that makes me look very slim. But during the early 1980s, no one wanted to be really slim. It's very strange, isn't it? You look very handsome when you were younger. Thank you very much. I'm glad that I used to look handsome. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. I needed that boost. I needed that lift today. Of course, quite often something we do like to do, and I think we all do it, especially as we get older, we always like to look back. We like to think about the past. We like to reminisce. If you reminisce, it means you look back. You remember the past. You think about moments that have gone by, things that happened maybe in your childhood or during your teenage years. You will think about things that happened in the past. You will reminisce. Also, you will recall. You can recall something. So once again, you are bringing a memory out into the open. You are thinking about it maybe you are talking about it you might recall a moment from your childhood so when we recall something we remember it we bring it back maybe we talk about the past so we will recall something you can look back so when you look back once again you are looking back into the past you are looking at the things that happened before, the things that happened in your childhood or maybe in your teenage years or maybe in your early life. Generally, you can also recollect as well. You can recollect. So if you recollect, it means once again, you think about the past you reassemble the things that happened before so that's why we say recollect recollect means to bring those things from the past and maybe you recreate them in your mind you bring them back you recollect recollect and the other words are reminisce you look back you remember you recall you bring things from the past back and you look back and you recollect of course there are other ways of expressing this particular thing you hark back if you hark back it means you refer to a period of time that happened long ago maybe a period of time that you remember or maybe a period of time when something happened maybe when people behaved in a certain way you hark back you bring that thing back maybe in your memory or maybe something that you've said you hark back you remember of course you remember when you remember something you bring something back maybe something that is stored away in your memory you remember we can also describe this feeling by saying ah yes something that i remember from my childhood something that i remember doing in my past it really it takes you back so 
if it takes you back it means you are now reliving that moment it is almost as if it's happening right now so you might say a memory or something you hear it really it takes you back it takes you back ah uh, whenever I hear a song from the 1980s it really takes me back it takes me back to the days when music was great when fashion was wonderful and everything seemed much simpler than it does now you can also say it brings it all back so we can say it brings it all back it brings it all back so the thing that you're remembering it, it feels so real it feels as if it's just happened we can say that that memory brings it all back it brings it all back neo is going are you going neo why are you going do you have something more important to do i wonder anna says nowadays people want to be as thin as possible but sometimes that is crazy i think so however when i was growing up it was very unusual to be very thin and tall and the problem was during my teenage years i was very thin and very tall so quite often I would be picked on or bullied at school for being thin and tall. So sometimes the kids would be very cruel to me. They would call me some horrible names. So to be honest with you, I really wish I was a teenager now because I would probably be very trendy and very cool. Because I could wear all of the tight clothing. I could wear my skinny jeans and my tight clothing hello neo oh neo is going i just said hello to neo but i think neo has gone hello mr duncan i'm sorry i'm late hello maria nice to see you here maria you are here <laughs> hassan is here as well hello belarusia oh hi nice to see you here as well one of the moderators hello mr duncan i love you from the kingdom of saudi arabia thank you hussein that's very kind of you Alam Gear asks if you had a chance to go back to your teenage years what would you do well to be honest with you I would probably do the same things so I suppose if I went back in time to my teenage years but I, I, I know what I know now I would probably be different but the thing is when you are a teenager you don't know anything and sometimes when you're a teenager you can be quite arrogant you think you know everything you think the whole world owes you something some people say that nowadays about millennials some people say that millennials act like spoiled children so whether that's true or not I'm not sure Christina says the 1980s it takes me back to when I was younger I think so when I was younger so much younger than today <laughs> I didn't need anyone's help in any way I think that's a song isn't that a song I'm sure it's a song so the 1980s yes I love the 1980s whenever we think of the 1980s we think of music we think of bright colors we think of things that make us feel good and I don't know about you but I really do love the 1980s what about you when were you born do you remember the 1980s hello to Anna music and smells or odors I think so yes I think music and odors are the two things that take you back to the past well quite often you might smell something cooking I remember a few weeks ago I could smell something cooking in town I went into town with Steve and I could smell something cooking it smelt like cakes and it reminded me of my grandmother 
because my grandmother used to cook cakes. She used to bake them in the oven, some beautiful cakes, and she would always make them at the weekend. So just before the weekend arrived, she would always make some cakes. And I used to go and stay with my grandma and my granddad. I used to spend the weekends with them and they would always have beautiful cakes, delicious cakes that she had baked the day before. So maybe that's one of the reasons why I enjoyed going there so I could eat her cakes. Maybe that's why I have a sweet tooth now in my adult years. Maybe, maybe. Irene is here. Hello, Irene. Hello to you as well. Tomek says, I hark back to the 1980s as sad and grey for my homeland. The martial law was imposed in 1981. Luckily, by the end of this decade, it brought some hope and change. Yes, there were many changes, especially in Central Europe and, of course, towards Eastern Europe. Many things were changing during the 1980s, especially 1989, of course, with the fall of the Berlin Wall. Hello, Lucia. Hello, Lucille. Bye bye, Mr. Duncan. See you again. I'm going to the Central Park to have a run. Well, have a good time. Enjoy your exercise. You are going off to do your impression of Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda is an actress and she was very popular during the 1970s. However, during the 1980s, she was very much into keep fit. And she used to produce all of these wonderful videos where she would show people how to exercise, how to do their exercises. Francis is here. Hello, Francis. I am just baking a scrumptious lemon sponge cake. That just happens to be one of my all time favorite cakes. I absolutely love lemon cake, lemon sponge cake. Oh, please send some to me. Please send some. Some other words now to remind us of the past. Maybe when you visit, maybe a famous place or maybe when you travel to another country, you will often buy something to help you remember that moment. You will buy a souvenir. Souvenir. So souvenir is something that you buy to remember that particular time or the place that you visited. So when we say souvenir, it means something that you keep, something you buy, and then you keep it, and then it will remind you of that place. Souvenir. We can also say memento as well. Memento. A memento is something you keep to remind you of that particular moment or that particular activity. And also memorabilia. Memorabilia is a collective word. It is a general word for something you buy or something you keep to remind you of a certain time. So we have the word souvenir, which actually comes from the French language. Memento, which I think comes from, I want to say Spanish. It might also be Italian and memorabilia. So three great words. However, we have another word. Keepsake. So when we say keepsake, we mean something that you keep safe. So a keepsake is something that you value, maybe a gift that was given to you by a very special person, something that you keep nearby to remind you of that person, maybe something that was given to you by your mother or father or someone special. So we often say keepsake, quite often something that is very valuable, a keepsake, something you want to keep near, something that you hold or keep 
maybe on your body or in your purse or in your bag or maybe somewhere where you can see it every day it is a keepsake I really like that word it's very nice thank you very much for your <laughs> comments today I really do appreciate it we can use this word nostalgia so when we talk about nostalgia we are talking about things that remind us of the past or maybe we look at something from the past nostalgia something that happened years ago something that occurred something that was created nostalgia nostalgia and the thing about nostalgia is it never goes out of fashion there is always something to look back on there is always something to remember about the past so nostalgia is a great word I like it another word you can use is reminiscence so reminiscence refers to thinking of the past you think back in time you reminisce so if you reminisce it means you think about the past you wonder in your mind about the things that happened in your childhood or during your teenage years you reminisce and the general word is reminiscence reminiscence thank you very much to maria thank you very much to Parineo, thank you to Chris. Isn't it lovely? Yes, sometimes memories can can trigger your mind. So maybe you think about a small thing from your past, but then suddenly you find yourself thinking about all sorts of things. So I always think that the memory is a very interesting thing. The memory, I think, is something that we all hold to be very precious and very special I think so I am so appreciative of your teaching it was helping me a lot thank you Paraneo that's very kind of you Alam Gia says memento it is like a magic word to me because I had heard that word a lot when I read Harry Potter Francis memento as nostalgia these words are used 100 percent in spanish hello rakesh in this world my offer is my life people don't want to spend with their children but why i'm not sure what you mean there but i suppose as children grow up they often drift away they often grow apart they often move further away maybe they become more distant so I think this happens quite a lot in most families you will often find when a child grows up they become more independent maybe that's the reason why hi Mr Duncan I shared your live stream on my Facebook because it's useful that's okay I don't mind you can share all of my links if you want you can share the links Yusuf hi Mr Duncan I am Ennis from Turkey I like your style of your live streams thank you very much I love the music of yes says Mika <gasps> yes owner of a lonely heart owner of a lonely heart from the 1980s that song <laughs> by a group called yes Hello to Pacho. Hello, pa Paniyoe Parineo. I wish I could read your name. Hello, Rakesh. Thank you very much for your lovely messages. I am going now, but don't forget, I am back tomorrow, Monday to Friday, 2 p.m. UK time. I am here every day during October, and tomorrow is no exception. So I will see you tomorrow live from 2 p.m. UK time thank you Gamal thank you Zu Zu Zika thank you very much thank you Rosa thank you Marus 
thank you very much oh maroose is a big fan of the clash Ooh. yes lots of that lots of guitar playing the clash okay then the clash eaten rifles was eaten rifles by the clash eaten rifles eaten rifles <laughs> oh dear it's really taking me back i think i will spend the rest of this afternoon reminiscing about the 1980s thank you rose sir we are going now i'm sorry i have to say goodbye we are now two minutes past three o'clock i will see you tomorrow i hope you will have a good sunday whatever you are doing do it safely and stay happy thank you for your company thank you for all of your lovely messages today so many people are here still watching thank you very much thank you rakesh thank you mika oh mika mika remembers the boomtown rats tell me why i don't like mondays tell me why i don't like mondays the boomtown rats were a big group of course the lead singer is or was bob geldof thank you mr duncan for your wonderful expressions a big thank you from china thank you tong 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 watching in china a big ni hao to you i used to live in china i lived in china for many years thank you mohammed thank you to rahul thank you very much for all of your messages today i will see you tomorrow from 2 p.m uk time this is mr duncan in the birthplace of english saying thanks for watching for the past 64 minutes and i will see you tomorrow 2 p.m uk time and of course until tomorrow you know what's coming next yes you do ta-ta for now